So every November, this challenge starts trending. People call it no release or no November. Basically, no intimacy, no solo activity, nothing for a month. But does it actually do anything for your health? In case you guys are new to my channel, my name is Dr. Amr Mahmood, and I'm a doctor of internal medicine, so let's get into it. Here's what the science and the research says. For men, there's no real evidence that holding off boosts testosterone, energy, or muscle growth. There's one small study that showed a little bump of testosterone after about a week, but it went right back to normal soon after. On the flip side, guys who have regular release might actually support better prostate health according to some studies. In fact, there are studies showing that men who release quite regularly actually have a lower risk of prostate cancer. Now, some people say they feel sharper or more focused during the challenge, and that is totally valid. That's not hormones, though. That's behavior and self-discipline. So, medically speaking, there's no proven physical benefit to this challenge. If you're doing it for focus or self-control, that's great. If you're doing it for health, regular activity is just as healthy. In fact, probably even better. As always, if you guys like content like this, please like and follow for more. Peace.